video, I'm Karen Zima. Today I'm very excited to be working on a hummingbird. I have done birds in the past, had requests for birds, but this one is a hummingbird and he's in action. He is having his lunch right out of the flower. It's a colorful painting. It's not that hard to create. If I can do it, you can do it, and I'll show you how. Just stay tuned. It's a hummingbird, and it's having its lunch right out of this flower. He's sucking the nectar out. And it's going to be a very colorful painting. The background is going to be all these lovely muted colors that are going to make the bird and the flower pull forward and pop. Hopefully, that's my goal. I think this is a very easy composition. Anybody can do it, so you can follow along. Just sketch out a basic hummingbird shape. Make this wing longer and bring them down about that far from the edge of the canvas. And a flower. Any flower will do. But I thought this one was very striking because, this is why I like it, I made the stem come down. It's gonna, it almost looks like it's connecting up with the hummingbird beak and then it just sort of flows right off the page. I think it's a very stunning composition. I hope it works for us. We will see. So let's get at it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so some of the colors that I put out for this project, this is just the background. I put out, they're very eastery looking colors. We have our pink and our purple, kind of lilac -y. A flesh, this medium blue, a yellow, a green, and then we have this coral color that is running all over. So let's get at it, let's get started. What I want to do first is wet this canvas so it's not so dry while we're putting in our layers of colors. And this is just charcoal. See, it's running. It's just running out, but uh, that's not going to harm anything. That's just basically so I know where and what I'm going to do here. So, there we go. Nice and wet. Let's get a fairly big brush. Alright. We have this one of my favorite brushes for covering area. It's a level two special what the heck kind is it? Uh, artist sloth. One and a half inch. Nothing that special. <laughs> Alright, we'll start by say we're just laying in some color here. Just to get this painting started, we need to get in layers and layers of color. So we'll start with the blue. Get it in there. Because after the blue sticks, you know, it has to sort of stick. Then we put colors on top of it. So we let it dry a little bit and get more layers in, because I love my working in layers. I love to put layers and layers of color on top of each other. And maybe a little part of the flower still up top there. And maybe the green part, the uh, leafy part, right up in that corner. Don't look great, we'll take it out. So, but for now, that's the plan. So, come up with a plan B. Let's stick with that plan. There we go. Swirl in that color. Alright. That works. I don't want too much running into that because that's going to be a either a pink or a red flower. Some of the colors I put out for the hummingbird 
by this green. There's a medium yellow and a lighter yellow. A bright orange. Here we have a pathalo blue, like a cobalt blue, a cerulean blue, white and a black. Those are colors to start. And there is some green. There's going to be green shades here. Blue. It's going to be all kind of colorful colors. All right. Here's a little detail brush here. It's a Vienna number two. It's kind of like a pencil. I'm going to find where we had his beak. And I like that. Like so. Just put that in for now. Get some black. Colors for the flower. I think we'll start on the flower next. Uh, we will punch up the background. But um, I put out like an orange red, kind of a magenta red. There's like a more pink, rosy red, and some yellow to mix in there. And of course, we still got our black and these other colors to work with uh, for our flower. And there's, uh, I'm going to need some green, but I got some green here for the stem and all that. All right, so. Let's put in the black center of the flower so we don't lose it and we know where it's at. Right about, right about there. And we take some red, start working on this petal over here. Then, I think I need a bigger brush. Let's just get that first layer of our color in. Just like a, just a red, a medium red. And we're going to put some different tones in with those. So this one is hanging down in front of it. So what we're going to have to do to define that is make one of the edges lighter in the front and darker in the back so you can tell which way it's going. So I'm going to grab some yellow and some of the red make this lighter tone. Let's put it 
get down that edge there. Blend it out. Let me take a little dark, and I'm going to mix it in with this red for the shadows. There's some shadows here. It's a little dark, so what we're going to do is blend it out and then put some lighter on it. You're going to get more yellow tones in there, make it brighter. Okay. So I've got this sponge. I'm just going to like dab in really yellowy tones. Around the flower, hummingbird. Step back and take a look. I'm quite happy with it. It came out just the way I wanted it to. It's very colorful. The colors in the bird kind of match the colors in the background and breaks it up with this darker blue, it makes them stand out along with the orange. And the composition just flows right off the page. Very good composition. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you did and you haven't subscribed already, just hit the subscribe button and then this little bell next to it will pop up. If you hit that, it will give you notifications when new ones come out and you don't want to miss any of them. Also, I wanted to mention if you'd leave a comment, if you liked the video, what you liked about it, what you want me to change. I'm all ears. I want to hear stuff like that. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. Keep on practicing. Until next time. Bye-bye.